So since Hillary Clinton decided to run for president, the Clinton Foundation has been under a lot of public scrutiny, and rightfully so because this organization, even though it's charitable and they've done good work, well, it still sets up a direct conflict of interest between Hillary Clinton's State Department and Hillary Clinton herself. And we're worried about that same conflict of interest existing if Hillary Clinton actually becomes president because there is evidence that donors to the Clinton Foundation were granted access to Hillary Clinton, the majority of them were. And also, there's these weapons deals between Saudi Arabia that coincide with the time that they donated millions of dollars, specifically 10 million to Clinton's foundation. So this conflict of interest is scary because we don't know the extent to which Clinton Foundation donations will impact Hillary Clinton's behavior as a public servant, as Secretary of State, as President. So finally, Bill Clinton decided to speak up and address some of this controversy and defend the organization and his legacy. So he told NPR it was natural for people who've been our political allies and personal friends to call and ask for things, and I trusted the State Department wouldn't do anything they shouldn't do. Well, he's right there. It is natural for donors to ask for favors. This is the way that American politics runs. I mean, this pay-to-play politics where you donate to a candidate and then they give you access and inevitably do favors for you is what we all hate. It's a form of corruption. So he's absolutely correct that it's natural for them to ask for favors. But that's the problem. <laughs> I mean, nobody's debating that they're not going to ask for favors. We all agree that it's a completely natural phenomenon, but that's the whole point. We don't even want there to be the option that they can ask for favors. So you should delegate control of the Clinton Foundation to someone else. Now, they said they're going to do it to Chelsea. I don't think that's far enough because Chelsea Clinton can still facilitate favors for Clinton Foundation donors because she is the daughter of Hillary Clinton, potentially the next president of the U.S. So the connection is still there and it's very troubling. So... I think that he believes he's telling us something revolutionary by saying, oh, it's only natural for them to ask for favors, right? And I, just believe me, I know that Clinton State Department wouldn't do anything they shouldn't be doing. Well, one, of course you're going to say that because that's your wife. And two, there's evidence that contradicts that statement because we have seen the reports that donors to the Clinton Foundation got access and special favors from Hillary Clinton State Department. That's a big problem. Why is it that you have someone like Cheryl Mills, who was an aide to Hillary Clinton when she was Secretary of State, actually doing work for the Clinton Foundation while she's supposed to be an aide to Hillary Clinton's State Department? That's really troubling. So, I mean, the fact that this conflict of interest even exists in the first place is what voters are rightfully worried about. And he doesn't seem to get that. Now, he also responded to critics in the media saying it's just a more negative environment. And I have to agree with him here as well, because, I mean, look at my coverage. 90% of the videos that I post are negative about Donald Trump, about Hillary Clinton. Uh, I do do uh, positive coverage of Jill Stein, but, I mean, anything else is usually negative, but that's not necessarily because I want to be negative or that, generally speaking, I'm a negative person. Just the political environment that we're in right now is just negative. I mean, we have a corrupt political establishment that only does the bidding of their wealthy donors. We have climate change that is accelerating and nobody in Congress really wants to act on it. We have income inequality that nobody wants to talk about. We have spineless Democrats who refuse to even fight for a public option, which is an amendment to the Affordable Care Act that would expand coverage to millions of citizens potentially. So how is it that we can even be slightly optimistic in this type of political environment? What's there to be happy about? What's there to be optimistic about at this point? You cheated this out of a candidate that was going to fight for substantial change. I don't know if Bernie Sanders would have even been successful had he been elected, but at least I know he's going to be fighting for it. And we have Hillary Clinton who's going to be elected and just do the bidding of her donors, just as President Obama did. And she's even running to the right of Obama in 2008. So that's why coverage is negative, Bill. Uh, we have no choice. I'm negative. We're all negative right now. We're pissed and we should be. Now, NPR adds, he theorizes that people are gravitating toward more negative news stories because of the social and economic upheaval the country has seen. Quote, it will get better if the economy improves, as I believe it is now doing and will do dramatically. But he added, that will only happen if Hillary Clinton is elected. So at least he acknowledges that we're pissed because of the state that our country is in. But 
You're not fooling anyone, Bill. Nobody believes that Hillary Clinton is going to get into office and actually fight for us. I mean, you said it yourself. You think that the corporate tax rates are too high. Obviously, Hillary Clinton is going to be in agreement with that. She's your wife. So, look, in the end, it is the case that the Clinton Foundation has done excellent work, but we're going to be negative and hold it to a pretty high level of scrutiny because that conflict of interest is what's perpetuating this series of economic disenfranchisement and political disenfranchisement. That's why we don't want there to be this conflict of interest. And the fact that you would say that it's natural for donors to ask for favors, well, that's a problem. You're essentially defending corruption because I didn't donate to the Clinton Foundation. I didn't donate to Hillary Clinton's campaign. Do I get to ask for a favor? No, I don't. And so it shouldn't be that way. That's not how democracy works. You don't get to do the bidding only for the people that uh, are your political allies or that donated to you. When you're president, when you're running to be president, you represent every single American, all 320 of us, not just your political allies. And that's what you don't get, Bill. <laughs>